Hi, Ben Newman, University of Reading. And we're here in Chertsey, uh, right by the bridge. And as you can see, the flood is going on all around us. Water's pouring around. I'm a microbiologist, uh, and I've been looking at some of the flood water in people's houses and uh, in the various flooded areas. We were out in Somerset, and uh, we've been in Raysbury quite recently. And the kinds of bacteria that we found there are interesting. We're finding lots of the sort of bacteria you would normally expect to find in animal feces or even human feces for that matter, sort of solid waste bacteria. These things pose a risk to human health. The kinds of diseases that they can cause are uh, diseases from the past almost. Things like typhoid fever could be coming back because of this dysentery, viral hepatitis, even norovirus could possibly be spread by these foul, polluted waters. I suppose the good news is that most of the bacteria and most of the microbes that are causing the problems here are very badly suited to this kind of environment. They're used to being inside a warm, cozy place, like in your guts, for example. And out here in the cold, hard, very wet world, they tend to die out very quickly. It may take a few weeks for everything to return to normal, but hopefully, once the waters recede, normality will resume. Uh, Thank ben, you. is there any advice you have in terms of keeping yourself clean and keeping yourself free from infections? None of the things that can hurt you can actually hurt you on their own. These are all things that you'd have to actually pick up and put into your mouth in order to have them uh, damage you. So this is where hand washing will really come into its own. The little alcohol gels may help a little bit too. Just be careful what you eat and be careful what you put near your mouth. Pretty mental.